If you're looking for a high output solar panel, but at a low competitive price point, you're gonna to wanna to take a look at the new QPeak Duo G10 from Hanwha Q-Cells. Because this panel offers performance that's close to rivaling LG and SunPower, but at a much, much more competitive price point. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And for the past eight years, we've been helping families get their home set up to survive a loss of the electric grid. And of course, here at Solar Surge, we use renewable energy, solar power with battery backup, and sometimes even generator backup as well. Now, if you're new to the channel, on Solar Surge, we do solar product reviews and comparisons, as well as educational videos about various aspects of renewable energy, and specifically on how you can get your house set up to be as self-sufficient as possible with your energy needs. Now, in today's video, we're gonna be doing a deep dive on the new 400 watt QPeak Duo G10 from Hanwha Q-Cells, because this is one of the highest output solar panels available for residential system installations, but it's also one of the most competitively priced panels available as well, which makes it a really, really exciting offering. So I'm gonna be introducing you to this product today. Now you may recall from my previous video on the top solar panels that the 66 cell form factor has come more into fashion this year. When we talk about 66 cells, we talk about how many individual solar cells make up the module. So a 66 cell module is generally 11 modules high by six across for a total of 66 cells. And so that form factor is about six inches taller than the traditional 60 cell module. Uh, up until this year, the 60 cell module was the most common form factor for a residential solar panel installation. Now with Q-cells and with this particular model, this is what we call a duo module. So instead of having 66 individual cells, it actually uses 132 half cells. Uh, if you look up close at the panel, you'll see that the panel uh, is separated into uh, an upper section and a lower section. And those two sections of the solar panel actually operate independently of one another. You could have the bottom half completely in shade and the top half would still operate at peak power. They operate almost completely independent of one another. But if you look closely at the actual cells themselves, you'll see that they're actually half cells. Or they're like half the size of a standard solar cell. And the reason that they do that is because by lowering the size of the cell, it reduces the length of the bus bars needed to connect the cells together and therefore lowers the resistance inside the module or another way to think about it is it just delivers more power. There's less power that's lost to heat. Now that's an important concept also is that you know every electrical conductor whether it's a wire or a bus bar or a piece of solder every electrical conductor has some resistance and the longer that conductor is, the more the resistance. Also, the hotter that conductor gets, generally, the hotter it gets, the more the resistance. And you don't want resistance in, ter in terms of the internal conductors within your solar panel, because whenever you have resistance, that means you're going to lose energy as heat, energy that otherwise could have been captured and converted for usable electricity inside your home. The Q-Cell G10 also includes the, the Q-Cell's name, uh, namesake, quantum technology. And what the quantum technology refers to is behind the solar cells, there is a reflective paste that will capture sunlight, sunlight that normally would have passed straight through the cell and just hit your rooftop. The reflector is able to capture a portion of that and reflect it back out through the front of the cell, capturing about 5% additional power that otherwise would have been lost. So you get the performance benefits of the quantum technology. But the new Generation 10 Q-Cells panel also includes what they call Duo-Z technology, or zero-gap technology. And what that means is that they've pretty much been able to eliminate all of the white space between the individual solar cells. So virtually the entire surface of the solar module is, uh, is the solar cell that's going to be capturing and converting sunlight into usable electricity. Now, if you look at a traditional solar panel, you, you can notice that in between the solar cells, it kind of looks like a checkerboard pattern. Um, that checkerboard pattern is caused by what's called the back sheet. So underneath the solar cells and in between the cells, you, you have these little sort of diamond shaped gaps uh, in between the cells, which kind of creates that checkerboard appearance. 
but that's also wasted space. That's surface area that you know, could be potentially capturing usable sunlight and converting it to electricity, but instead it's just reflecting it back off and you're seeing it as, as white showing up on that back sheet. Now with the zero gap technology, they've been able to, to re reshape the solar cells themselves so that they can, they can basically butt them all up against each other flush. They're all sort of rectangular shape. They can be butted up against each other flush. So virtually the entire surface of the solar module is functional solar cells. The other benefit to that is that the aesthetically, it's just a much nicer looking panel. Again, you don't really have that kind of checkerboard appearance on the solar panel anymore. Now it just looks like one, you know, contiguous piece of black glass. And if you have the solar array designed properly, you look up on the roof and it should just look like one smooth piece of black glass. So again, when you're talking about for solar panels for residential installation, especially if the solar panels are going to be visible from the street, you want to make sure you choose a panel that's going to offer a nice aesthetic as well as offer you the performance that you're looking for. And in terms of performance, with the new zero gap technology and the new generation 10 cells, Hanwha Q cells are now able to achieve over 21% cell efficiency or over 21% module efficiency. Uh, again, up until now, these types of numbers have really only been seen by super premium brands like SunPower, or in some cases, some of the LG, the premium LG solar panels. But again, those brands typically come with a huge price premium where Hanwha does not. Hanwha is considered a standard, a standard price panel, but in terms of performance now, it's starting to catch up with some of those folks that are at the head of the pack. And that's why I'm so excited about this product today. Uh, you know, some of you, you might have recalled, uh, I've mentioned in previous videos, this is the brand solar panel that I use on my house here. Now I'm using the older generation three panels, now we're up to the generation 10. So the panels have gotten much, much more efficient and again, still remained very, very price competitive. So folks, if you're interested in taking a look at solar panel options or getting some specific pricing for what the Qcells G10 or what other solar panels would look like for your house specifically, then please feel free to reach out to us on the link below and that'll just take you to our website. You can schedule a short virtual consultation with one of our system designers and really just talk through what the options are available for you and then we can provide you a no obligation price quote. Again, with the price quote, it's just information. There's no pressure, you don't have to do anything with it. But if you do want to have a system installed and you'd like us to help you with that, then we're happy to get, get the process started for you. Well, folks, as always, if you're getting good value from the information on the Solar Search channel, please be sure to click on that like button. Uh, and then also click on the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. That way you can stay up to date with us as we publish out the new videos. Well, thanks again for tuning into the Solar Surge channel today. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.